guys, so it's the kid again today, and today I'm going to be showing you basically a review on how, or not how, sorry, <laughs> just a review on the, it's a poly bag, as you probably know, you've probably seen this before, and I just call it the blue racer, because it kind of looks like a, it's blue and looks like a racer, so I call it that, but it's set number 303. 349 I repeat 30349 just in case you want to buy it on eBay or something something like that I go to eBay eBay is my go-to place but type in set 30349 you can go back on tape if you missed that I'm not gonna repeat it anymore but this set is ages 5 to 12 if you have a toddler don't suggest it until a few years although it is a small set so now that I think about it, when I was building it, I thought a toddler could pretty much build it. So, I agree, you might need to help your toddlers, but, um, yeah, I think it's pretty easy to build. It's 47 pieces, um, so not too bad, not too great. Well, not too great on, I like a lot of pieces, but not too bad on if you just want to build. You don't like building, you just want to play with it, you know? So, not too bad. Um, that's basically it. Um... This is the bag for it. I took a nice slit out of it when I was opening it. That's what it looks like on the bag, if you were wondering. Back doesn't really matter, but you know, just showing that. Um, so, I know this is a bad camera angle. I'm still working on it. I'm going to work on it right now, in fact. Okay, I've got a new camera angle. A bit better. Um, so, this gives you a closer view. But this is what I call the blue racer. I honestly don't know what its name is. It doesn't say on poly bags. But this is a very good poly bag in my opinion. So, um, basically we have this uh, traffic light right here. Which I think is a pretty good add to the build. You know, a little side part of the build. I'm going to focus on just that so the camera can focus on just that. And not focus on the blue racer in the background. But this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to take it apart real fast so you can see the individual pieces that it takes. I just got to remember green goes on the bottom um, of the actual traffic light. So I've got that. Um, but and I've got this piece. Now, that's not really in the light. But so I know these pieces are pretty common. But, let me focus on just this piece. This is what I call a camera piece because it looks like a camera, if you can tell. Or some people say a shooter. But I call it a camera piece. That goes like that, if you just saw the transformation. And then, just the little flagpole goes under it. This is what stands the flagpole on it. And, of course, the lights go on it. So, real quickly, I'm just going to build this thing right back up on camera so you can see how it looks there we go so that's the I keep saying flashlight it's not flashlight it's traffic light sorry um, but that's what that looks like pretty simple build but I love this side build I think it does look like a traffic light though you know one of those English, not not United States, well, maybe in the United States, but I mean more England areas that have um, those kind of traffic lights. I think this looks very um, British-like, but also English. I don't know what to call it. I'm not that smart. But you know what I mean. It looks very fancy. Um, so I'm going to put that back there. Next, we're going to focus on the blue racer. So... Why don't we break this buddy down? And I don't mean take apart. I just mean focus on the minifigure first. So, I don't know if there's a specific name for minifigs that look like certain minifigs. But, I have this guy. Um, this is what the minifig looks like. So, that's his backside. Bottom of himself. Um, top of himself. And front view, of course, is the best view. So, he's got this nice jacket over his buttoned-up shirt with some khaki pants, I'm guessing, which are on. And then, he's got his nice sunglasses right there. And he's got a nice sly smile there. I do like the Lego 
um, creators. I like how they made the shaggy hair. That's what I call it because it looks shaggy. I love that kind of hair. So that's our mini fig, which is going to go back there off camera. Well, it's still halfway on camera. But um, now that we broke it down from mini fig, traffic light and now we're on to probably your favorite part the blue eraser so the only thing i would say that lego should add to the set and it's easy as possible is i think they should add a license plate sticker or a printed piece right there that would make the set like i know that's not a big change but i think i'm a little bothered by that but elsewise, I think the set is great. And um, so basically, a bunch of these pieces, I wouldn't say are rare, but some of them are quite uncommon. And if you have, like, I have a mom that had Legos when she was younger, and so we got all the vintage pieces. So I love these new, fresh pieces, you know? So I love them. There's a few I'm going to take off at the moment that I think are just beautiful vintage pieces. Now, I know some people might not or might think the word vintage is overused, but in my videos, it's always over, overused. So you kind of just got to get used to that and get with the flow, man, because all these pieces on this set are pretty much vintage, which I know sounds stupid, but it really there's some beautiful pieces on here so first piece we're going to go over is this piece now these if you go to the pick a brick i went there a few days ago in the lego store they had these just in gray so i don't know if they updated or not but you might be able to find these so if you want these go to the lego store near you um so this is pretty cool i like this piece i think it's a great model that uh lego basically created and punched out of their piece creator thingy i don't know what to call it um but i think it's a great detailed piece i love the little slices there next i have the um renders bumpers i don't know what they're called but i love these pieces without this piece you know, these pieces i don't think it would look so much like a race car but with these pieces i think you just added that race car touch so there's two of these that go on either side of the car, obviously. I'm going to put this piece back on so I can show you a better view. So that's what the car would look like without those pieces. Let me just tell you, it doesn't look pretty. So sorry, I was just fixing a piece. I don't like how that looks. It doesn't look pretty. And Lego, if without that piece, might have added one 1x2 one back on there it still wouldn't look that good you got these open tires that just looks like it's misplaced and why are these lights just sitting here see that's three big problems in this car but now if we add these on some of you might disagree with me but i think it just makes the car a race car which don't we all love race cars now some of you are probably like i don't like race cars race cars are just stupid they just make loud noises and what's the point of them well let me just tell you in my opinion i'm not a racer or fan of racing that much but i do think it adds a little touch to some side of i guess you could say sports or something but look how much better that looks it's got more of that pretty blue color. Um, it adds great touch to it. Covers up the wheels. Covers up part of the lights. Adds that nice slick tile to that. It just looks so much better. Now, if I take off this, it still looks fine. Not amazing, but fine. You could easily add a 2x2 two two blue tile on there and make it look fine. So, if you add this back on, it obviously looks a lot better. But, if you take it away, you could easily cover it up with something else. These, if you take these, like, renders or whatever they're called, bumpers, away, no. The car is just not complete. It just doesn't look complete. So, I'm very glad LEGO created that piece. I'm pretty glad with that decision of theirs on creating that piece. So, we've taken down the side. We've took down the front. 
Now we're gonna break down the back. So the back looks like this. If you didn't see it already, it's got that nice bumper, which I do love, and I'm, I'm gonna go over that. Um, so I think this piece is rather fine, how they did this. Now I'm not gonna break the whole thing down. I might just take off a few pieces just to show you how well they did this. Now I love the wheel well, of course. If you didn't know what a wheel well is, it's this blue piece right here that basically covers up part of the tires, or the back tires in this case. And then, I think the lights, of course, are great. I think that's beautiful. I love this little toolbox. It also adds as a seat covering, I guess you could say. I just tipped my mini fig off if you did not see that, but I found that funny. Um, next, we have a two by one, or one by two cheese slope going down here with blue. If you didn't know what a cheese slope is, it's this blue piece right there. I think that adds a little texture to it. Without that, I think we could live. I feel like it'd be fine, but I do like it. I'd rather have it in there than not in there. Now, this piece. That, I, I do like. I think it's a great ad. If you're not going to put a printed piece or a sticker in, this is the piece to go with. But I feel like it would barely cost much to produce one sticker that says a license plate or something like that. I don't think it would cost much. Or a printed piece. Either one works. But I think in the future, Lego should advance this poly bag. And that's the one thing they should advance. I think nothing else would be fine. Although, speaking at it while we're here. This 1x2 gray studs. Or 2 studs here. I think that needs to be covered up. That's a little yikes. But I know that's not a big deal. So that doesn't really matter right now. Sorry, I went off on a tangent, but I think that's one thing they could improve. Now, these one by two cheese slips down here, there's two of them. I, I think they just add to the build. They just make it a build. Now, I know you could easily just have, like, you don't have to have a slope in it. But I just feel like it wouldn't look like a race car once again. So, if, if you take that off, you'd probably just cover it with, like, another piece there. It wouldn't look good. But then, if you add this piece on, you just take it to the next level. Look how much better that looks. And, once again, that license plate. But look how much nice there that cheese slip makes it look. So, let me just tell you, you have to have all parts of the car to make that car click. So, I know that just sounds stupid, but it's true. You have to have all parts of the car to make that click. I'm going to grab the minifig that just flew back there. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to put this back in the car because I want him to drive the car at the moment. I want him to look nice and sporty with his nice blue race car. So, now that we've got him, we've got the traffic light broken down, and we have his car, the actual self. I guess that means this is the end of the review. So, be back for next videos, um, future videos. And for right now, that should be the end. Thanks for watching. The Kid.